Hello, hello. It's time for some more Halloween stuff. Sorry, <laughs> I realized I was right in the camera. Um, so, I'm going to start with some of this paper that I got last year on sale. I think I'm going to use the bats. And I'm going to just. Let's grab, let's stop thinking too much, and grab something, um, some gel medium, oh, <laughs> oh dear. As you can see, I've already put a little bit of masking tape down the centre and used some of the extra that I had. Just dusted it around randomly. Probably get covered, but that's okay. It's just just there, just because I quite like that scorpion. On the page, so I may try and sort of avoid cover that if possible. It's a very creepy Halloween. No, I'm going to grab a new pot of gesso over there, and I'm going to also grab something that I need to just. Just quickly, oh, I don't need to show you, but I'm going to quickly show you. Spare me a second. Okay, so retrieve the gesso. So I went shopping with my friend the other day, and in a charity shop, I found this. Isn't this cool? All right, and I felt like I'd seen the image before. I think it's one of those like really old images that are now royalty free, so you see them quite a lot. And then when I got home, I decided to flip through this book that I bought. Again, I bought it last year, after Halloween. So maybe using my Halloween book. And I found this. Ta-da! And on the same page, I found this loop. So, we're going to use those. I don't know exactly how. But I know I want to make a page with those, that's the uh, gel medium <laughs> on the gesso. So we're just going to have a little bit of a play, build up a background, I'm going to fussy cut the ladies out, and we're going to pop them on. And yeah, I can get into the gesso. I'm going to get in, so I'm going to have to use my scissors to punch a hole. There we go. Get in with you. Alright. <laughs> so, I'll now get gesso all over my fingers. What do we want to do? Do we want to brush it on? Do we want to roll it on? 
scrape it on let's I think palette knife and just Through. Of course, I still want my background paper poking through, but we want to sort of obscure it a little bit, give it a bit of mystery, maybe. Make it become part of the same page. Give it that cohesiveness. There we go. I'm gonna like that. So obviously that needs to dry. some background stamping maybe a wash of colour that'd be fun wouldn't it what colour? green? oh gangrenous green lovely <laughs> sorry <laughs> into the Halloween spirit now okay so I will be back once that's dry which might take a while because it's quite thick okay so that's fairly dry now and I'm just thinking I would like to try something. Um, so I've got this indigo blue matte paint and it's uh, olive waistcoat which is sort of a muddy green. But, you know, in a nice way. Grungy green. So we're going to pop a bit of that into the palette. And I don't know if this is gonna work. Let me just grab a wipe and just wipe my palette knife. Sorry, <laughs> put it there, put it there. So, I've got some clear gesso. Mix it in. I do have glazing medium, and I could use that. But I just thought this might give us a bit of... I don't know. Uh, interesting anyway. <laughs> so let's try it. I may end up adding some water to it. We'll see. Let's grab a brush. I've got a big big giant brush here. Ooh. That just say might not be completely dry but that's okay. That's really good actually. underneath this few little spots that are still wet so it's mixing in with that which is fine that's just creating a sort of tonal look grungy
That has worked really well actually. I like that. It's made it uh, more transparent because I can see on the map where I've put the paint down and it's not actually that transparent uh, a paint. So adding that has made it slightly more transparent but it's not thinned it down like it would do if you added water. So it's still got that um, consistency but it's just a little more transparent which is what, exactly what I was hoping for. So there we go, we've got a nice sickly green base there, plus if as we're adding it to the gesso we know that any mediums that go over the top are going to play nicely with it. So there we go, again that's going to have to dry. And then I think the next step will be some spooky stamping. I know it's a bit more depth to that background. So I'll be back once that's dry. Right, so we're just going to add a little bit more texture to that background. I'm going to use um, the peeled paint. I'm going to just grab my acrylic block. Stick some paint on there. Paint, <laughs> distress ink on there, and I'm going to give it a little spray with water. This is a technique I just I saw in Sheena Douglas use the other day on television, and I was like, because mm. I like the splotchy, painty background, but this kind of gives you just a little bit more control than just splodging the ink pad straight down which is quite nice. I'm just using an old kitchen sponge like that. Let's dry it off a little bit. So a bit wet but we can just keep going on. Doing a bit more. Maybe going a bit darker. Done slightly there. <laughs> there we go. Let's try that off. There we go. And let's grab out some stamps now. sort of things. Uh, no, I don't think we want the natty ones. Uh, oh, a spider's web. Oh, excuse my stomach growling now. Let's go. away now. Um, 
going to use the archival ones this time. Uh, black or grey? Let's go black because the images are quite dark so we can go quite dark. Uh, da, 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 da. Did I see that something black? Did I put it away? Throw it to one side. <laughs> Not fussed if this doesn't stand perfectly. This is just a little bit of texture interest in the background. Beautiful. Right. And now let's cut our ladies. Spooky Halloween. Yeah. Do we want something else in the background? Got some nice bats here. So let's let's just add a bat or two because our ladies are both dressed in bat costumes. bumpy so not a problem my battery's flashing at me so this may cut off soon so let's try and hurry up okay so don't know how long this will last the battery's only on one bar but I've given it a bit of charge um, so I've glued my ladies down and just used some clear Elmer's glue and I've coloured the bat in um, with some paint and Posca marker, sorry. 
and I have my sentiment that I have stamped onto a sticker paper. So what I thought I would do is grab hmm, do I go for some carved pumpkin? Let's Did this a little while ago so it's nice and dry now. Okay. So that's alright, that's fine. I don't need it to be smooth or anything. We want it to be a bit grungy, don't we? So I'm gonna put it out and then I'm gonna decide if I want to cut it up a little bit and have it all separate, spread it out a bit, or if I want it as it is, so we'll just see. Uh, I don't want to cut it straight, that doesn't matter. Yeah, I want to cut it up, definitely. So. That so it looks a bit more intentional. There we go. Now then, There's a bit more life in this battery, spare one. So let's go for that. Let's go for that there. That there. And that there. Yes, yes. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Well, the battery runs out again. <laughs> now we've got a peel. The backing off. Which, of course, is going to be difficult because I'm filming. Yes, I hope that that stays.
Fairy Quick page. Hope you enjoyed watching that. And thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon.